So atherosclerosis and LDL are related, but it's not the the total cholesterol. I really don't really understand what it is. Or I know there's good cholesterol, there's bad cholesterol. I, know, I guess that bad cholesterol comes from fast food and processed foods and stuff. But simply, what do I need to understand about the role cholesterol plays in heart disease and how to not have bad cholesterol? The LDL cal carries most of the cholesterol in the body. So it's not complicated. LDL is what? Is LDL is a lipoprotein, and you have HDL, which is good cholesterol, LDL, bad cholesterol, total cholesterol, and triglycerides. Okay, these are the four tests. So the LDL is a reflection of your cholesterol. Now, cholesterol is a normal molecule in your body, and you should have cholesterol because if you don't have cholesterol, I don't think you live too long. Now, what happens is that when that LDL molecule becomes damaged, it becomes a small, dense LDL particle. A damaged LDL causes inflammation because now you have a molecule that's floating around your body. So it's the small, dense LDL particles which are now oxidized. They destroy the glycocalyx, which is the lining of the coronary arteries, and they activate the endothelium. When they activate the endothelium, which is the lining of your coronary arteries, that's when you're going to start getting atherosclerosis. So atherosclerosis and LDL are related, but it's not the, the total cholesterol. It's when you have small, dense, damaged LDL. So it tells you whether you have small, dense LDL or not. So let's say you came to me and your LDL is 150. But if it's all made up of large, fluffy, good, normal LDL, it's not going to be implicated in your inflammation or in your coronary artery disease. But if you have small dense LDL, that also is a problem because it's pointing me towards inflammation because what causes small dense damaged LDL are glucose, omega-6, advanced glycation end products, toxins, and lipopolysaccharides that come from the gut, leaky gut. So now I just gave you the primer for treating coronary artery disease.